right, we are ready for fascia yoga, lengthening and strengthening. You want to have some water nearby. Take a drink any time. And let's just um, let's start with our ball out in front of us and our feet resting on the ball. Come to a comfortable position. We're gonna lay down and take some breaths together. Can I get grounded for class? Connecting the mind, the body with the breath. So just feel it rest. Your feet are elevated. Your body feels light. It's melting into the into your floor or your mat. And let's take our hands and put our hands with our thumbs above our navel. And maybe our index, uh, index fingers are touching. Maybe we can feel our hip bones. And let's take a nice deep breath, feeling the air pass through the throat, expanding your ribs down into the low part of the belly. And bring your lips together and slowly blow out, exhaling, as if you're blowing through a little straw, no rush, no hurry, calming the body. Pausing at the bottom. Taking another breath in for four, three, two, one, and slowly bring the lips together and exhale, blowing, hearing the air. Um, hi, KB, could you mute your speaker, please? Could you mute your microphone? I believe it's KB. Thank you. And take another breath in. All right, sorry about that. Yeah. All right, we're taking another breath in for four, three, two, one. Bring your lips together and blow out. Another breath in for four. Three, two, bring your lips together and exhale. And now just set your intention for class. Just to be present for the next about 40 minutes. And stay here whenever you need, just come back to the breathing. Connect your breath with the body. Let's take our, our palms, bring our palms down by our side. And inhale, bring your arms up. And go close arms to the side, halfway down. Raise them back up, inhaling. And exhale, arms come up like a mummy. Back down to the side, keeping your tailbone tucked, your rib and hip ratio the same. Inhale up, arms come flat, bending into goalpost arms. Take another breath in. Exhale, arms overhead, mummy arms back down. And this time bring your palms up by your side. And go ahead and do a few like jumping jack or snow angels. A little close to the wall. If you have enough space, bring them overhead and back down. Inhaling up, exhaling down, inhaling up, and exhaling down. Palms up. Inhaling up, our arms are just gliding across the floor. 
and exhaling down. Inhale up, and exhaling down. Inhaling up, and exhaling down. And now we're going to take our feet on the ball and bring your knees into your chest, opening wide, exhaling down. Our ribs are still staying attached to the floor. Inhale up, open, take your time here and feel the opening, the external rotation of the hips. Bring them down, knees together, bring them up. Open, put your hands, weigh that down a little bit. Let's take a breath here. Blow it out. <sighs> Taking it down. Let's bring our left foot, pull the toes back towards you. Right knee comes towards the right shoulder. And we're going to rotate that left ankle. Rotating, keeping our elbows by our ribs. And do a slight tuck of the chin. And release, switch legs, right foot on the ball. It comes out, pull those toes back. Bring the left knee towards that left shoulder. Arms are in tight, maybe pull the shoulder blades together, a little tuck of the chin, and rotate that right foot. Rotating the foot. And bringing the ball in. Feet together, switch, right knee up, left foot out, do some rotation. And other side, right foot out, right ankle rotates, left knee towards the left shoulder. And we're going to take, cross the right foot over the left thigh. Bringing the left knee towards the left shoulder. The glute, the left foot comes towards the glute. Just give your chin a little bit of a tuck to keep that spine neutral. And maybe I'm starting to go left and right, bobbling back and forth. Giving that glute a little stretch. And I'm going to switch sides. Left leg crosses. Reaching through, tucking, and going left to right, left to right, pulling the right um, foot towards my right glute. And dropping down, put your left foot up on the ball and coming onto our side. And we're just going to gently pick ourselves up and get into this side stretch and start looking left and right. You can come up a little higher, working on this left um, oblique, the external oblique, rib the hip, turn. And I'm just going to switch sides by pushing the ball to the other side, bringing the right leg up onto my right elbow. And again, I'm going to start my twisting. yourself up more, feeling that stretch, getting some movement. And let's continue up that side, dropping back on my left side. I'm going to come across, getting my hip, stretching through this top line, 
I'm gonna stretch my hands out and I'm just gonna bend that lower, my lower um, support leg. And I'm just gonna kind of bring my foot forward and backward. Trying to keep my hips stable. And I'm gonna roll hard further to get my leg up. And I'm gonna get that internal and external rotation. Moving the leg, the femur, the foot's gonna follow. I'm gonna bring it up, open my foot, and do some ankle rotation. Now close it, same thing, just some ankle rotation. Bring it down. See if you can take that left foot and put on top of the right to give it a little more weight, counterbalancing with your hands. Feeling that stretch. Release, and let's do a couple of pulses up. And a tiny circle, really small and controlled, and reverse. You take that foot and roll up, just give it a bend. Catching, this is my right leg, taking my left elbow across my right, sitting up straight and do a spinal rotation. <sighs> Inhaling and exhaling. And release, take your right foot and just, if you can, just tuck it in a little farther. So I'm in this crisscross position and inhale up, palms together, bringing them down. Up, interlacing the hands. And extend behind, reach behind, and then gently tuck the chin to the chest, bringing space between your ears and shoulders. And just let your head drop forward. You could feel, it should feel the stretch through your right hip, maybe down through your left inner thigh, just melting forward. And release, bring your ball over to the right. And we'll do the same thing, stretching more through this left line, hitting the lateral lines today. Get a drink anytime you need it. Coming out, I'm going to keep this bottom leg bent today. <sighs> Take some nice breaths. Going to get a little higher. I'm going to start moving this leg, maybe drawing it on the floor, forward and backward. I have the fingertips down over here to help keep me stable. So I'm trying to keep those hips stacked. Just getting those fibers and encouraging separation in those fibers around the hip. I want them to slide and glide and not stick. And now I'm internally and externally rotating that femur, this upper thigh bone. My foot is just dangling. My foot is attached and it's following. Just putting my hand here. This is where I'm looking for the slide and glide to happen. And we're going to bring it up, a little ankle rotation here, and do some pulses, engaging that TFL. And bringing it up, and a few tiny controlled circles. I have my transverse abdominals engaged, the pelvic floor is pulling up. And I'm just using the side glute muscle to facilitate the movement. Any other stretch that you may need here, you want to bring it forward or backward. And slowly rolling up. Coming up, 
crossing the left leg over the right, sitting up straight, and spinal rotation. Catching my right knee on that, um, excuse me, my right elbow across my left knee, getting that spinal rotation. Inhaling and exhaling. When I release, I'm going to take and I'm just going to bring my legs crisscrossed. And um, one side will always be different than the other. And I'm going to inhale, arms overhead, palms together, coming down to heart center. Bringing them up, interlace, and down to the side. Catching them behind, interlacing, opening up the chest, gently bringing my chin to the chest and bringing it down. And release, coming up. Let's go into this 90-90. So we're still, we're working these, I'm, Doing a little bit extra on the lateral line today. It's often overlooked. So I'm going to come out into this rolling child's pose at an angle, play around with the angle. So coming down, pushing the ball out with my hands, walking down with a flat back, really like push. Let's do a couple things. Let's, let's activate the arms by pushing the palms into the ball. Now push the ball away with the arms and pull it back an inch. So the shoulder blades should be moving across your back, just push and pull, push and pull. It's a one to two inch movement, pushing and pulling, pushing and pulling. And now pulse a few times into the ball, get those arms active. And now take and pull the, pull the ball back. My head is still down, pull the ball back with some goal post arms until the ball hits your head and then send it out. Bring it in, if you need to glance it up, go ahead and send it out. Bend the arms and send it out. Bend the arms and out. Bend and out. And this time I'm going to hold and then bring myself up. Chin to chest, bringing the ball back. And I'm going to do three waves now. You can go at your own pace. Push the ball out, flat back. Chin to chest, articulate the spine. One for a at a time. Pushing it out and bringing it back. Pushing it out, bringing it back. And bringing the ball all the way over to my right. I'm gonna lay across the ball. Arm's gonna come, I'm gonna grab that arm and we're gonna get up through the top. A little bit more, a little bit higher through our ribs here. Really like bending over your ball. I'm gonna come up. I'm going to just move my ball out of the way for a minute. I'm going to tripod on my hand. And I sh if you want the ball, you could put it on the other side. But I'm going to do a thread the needle, looking back. Left palm up, looking back at my, my left foot, my left hand. Coming up. Hit it with the hips. Coming down, threading the needle. Looking back. Coming up. Inhaling, and down, and up, and circling the arm back. I'm going to put my left hand and my right hand back and just do a couple of hip pumps looking up. Push it up, and down, and up, and down. Release. Let's put our palms down. Fingertips facing me, and I'm just going to windshield wiper it out, left and right, neutralizing. Left and right, left and right. And stopping, pointing to the left. I'm going to do a similar thing on the other side. Ball is off to my left. I'm going to take it down. I'm going to activate my arms. I'm going to press my hands into the ball. And then I'm going to extend my arms, pull the ball back an inch, extend, arms are straight, elbows are almost locked, I'm using my scapula to move across my ribs, 
Move forward and backward. And now I'm going to come into the goal close arms, bringing the ball down towards my head and extending forward. Bringing the ball down towards my head, extending forward, ball back towards me, extend forward. Working all those little muscles of the shoulder. Our um, shoulder blades need to slide and glide, glide across our ribs. Extending it out, bringing it in, extending it out this time and rolling up. Chin comes off chest last. Inhale, exhale, three more, taking it out and rolling it up. Taking it out, rolling it up, and taking it out, and rolling it up. And I'm gonna park my ball over on my left. I'm gonna get through the top, a little more of this lateral line on this side just pulling the arm over, getting the arch, getting a bend in that body. Inhale and exhale. And I'm just going to move my ball now. Placing my hand down for some support. I'm not dumping all my weight into it. And I'm just going to come up, inhaling. And as I come down, this palm's going to come down, face up. And I am going to thread the needle, looking back towards my right foot and my right palm. Coming up, pushing my hips, looking back, stretching and threading and twisting. Coming up, inhale and exhale down. Inhale up, rockstar, I am amazing. Does this feel good? Whew. And bringing it down. Bring it up. And taking it down. Release. And again, just do a couple neutralizing moves. Left and right. Left and right. All right. Let's, um, let's, let's finish out our lateral. Um, side of the body. You take your ball, bring it by your side, okay? So we're going to get up into the neck now. So you must have your ball by your side, and you must have your arm relaxed on the ball. We're going to take, loosen this muscle, okay? So my arm is supported. I'm going to dip my head, my left ear towards my left shoulder. Arm is supported. I'm going to slightly tilt my head up, and then I'm going to look away. And I'm going to take my right hand, I'm going to massage that left trap, maybe the left shoulder, maybe into that left neck crease. You must have your left arm on the ball, or it will not work because then this muscle will be tight holding up your arm. So continue looking your left ear to left shoulder, looking away, chin going up, and massaging. So we're finishing off this whole side of the body. You don't have to be a therapist to rub your body. Just rub where it might feel good. It, the proprioception is just kind of an awareness of where your body is to your body. And it just touching, rubbing helps, um, you know, the nerves relax, helps to desensitize, can help relieve trigger points. All right, maybe rub in the shoulder. Okay, and as you release, just be nice and gentle. So I'm going to look towards my, bringing my chin down, looking over towards my right, and then chin to chest. Okay, and now I'm going to take my elbow, and I'm just going to rotate it around on this ball. If we have any funny quirks in our shoulder, it should be coming out. Now rotate the shoulder itself back. Take it back. Take it back. Now take the ball a little further behind you and stretch through that bicep in the front of the shoulder, pushing away, pushing away, and now come back again, 
and stretch through the front. Just take a lean, stretch through that pack. All right, bring it out front. Try to stretch through here. Oh, push that all the way. Push, 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 push. Elbow, and you're moving a little fast, but get that whole side of the body. Elbow in, and some of it is just intuitive, you know. Just push yourself where it feels good. All right, okay. A couple rollbacks, we're gonna do the other side. Balls on the right. And I need to support that left arm. You gotta take this muscle out of it. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> excuse me, my arm is supported. And take a breath. <sighs> Drop the right ear towards the right shoulder. So that muscle's all relaxed now. And look up just a little bit. And then look away. This is where we want to rub. Maybe back in the cervical spine, maybe up at your occipital, maybe into your trap. Just all those muscles, if you have a sore neck, any trigger points, maybe rubbing your SCM behind your ear. Rubbing all my lotion from blasting off. <laughs> Almost like a snake shedding. Inhaling and exhaling, continuing to melt to the right ear towards the right shoulder. Looking away, chin coming up. And when you're ready, <clears throat> start tilting that left, or excuse me, tilt the chin towards your left um, armpit and drop the chin towards your chest. You want to come out of stretch it, stretches methodically. You don't want to come out the same way you come in because then you'll just lengthen and shorten. Okay? And now gently just start rotating that ball in a circle. And then move your arm a little bit to where you can roll the shoulder back, roll that shoulder back, roll it back, Roll it back and bringing it back, getting through the bicep and the front of the shoulder, maybe swaying the ball and you drink. You can drink anytime you need it. <clears throat> and bending the ball, bending the ball, ha! <laughs> Bend your arm. And get into that pec stretch. Just get your arm out there, come forward. You can tilt your neck a little bit. If you wanna bring your arm straight, you can. Again, massage anytime, encourage lengthening, bringing the ball out, getting more of that stretch here. Taking a bend. <clears throat> Maybe do some circles with the elbow. And let's get a little more rotation in that upper thoracic. Um, I'm going to do one more thing for our, our lat, for our Lateral side, but just kind of dangle back, opening the front, and then dipping to the side, left and right. Oh, it feels amazing on my lungs. I feel like I have so much expansion from blasting and then that whole lateral sequence that we just did. Hopefully you are all feeling the same. Inhaling and exhaling, dipping side to side. Now my left elbow is gonna come towards, and my sternum's gonna close. Left elbow's kind of, I'm kind of pretending like it's coming towards the foot a little more, I'm closing more. Sternum open, sternum close. So basically it's just a bigger movement. Coming down. And just gonna lengthen 
land to the side, palm up, and I think I may need my, my head on the ball. And just get another rotation here of opening and closing with the hips stacked, a little bit of movement, arms open, arms close, a little bit of the open of the book. And flip to the other side. So my hips are stacked. I'm on the ball. Just open up. And release. Catch yourself on your palms. Coming into tabletop. Curl your toes. Sit back on your toes, or push, push your heels back. Coming up, and we're going to do a couple of cat-cow. Or cat-camel. Flexing and extending the spine. Push it up into down dog and pedal your feet out. And come down, let's sit back onto our feet on that plantar fascia, giving it a stretch. Interlace your hands behind you, open that chest. My big toes are together, the um, arches of my foot, the heels stretching all the way through the back of my feet. My weight is through my feet. My feet are not separating. Do not let them come out here. That takes you out of that planter stretch, okay? And just rotate your shoulders backward, rotate them back. I don't want you to move, but I'm going to move so you can see me, okay? So stand that plantar fascia, bring your arms up, bring your right arm underneath your left. So we have an eagle wrap here, and bring your, um, try bringing your thumbs towards your face. And then lift your elbows, bringing them up and down, up and down, up and down. Come back to the side and bring your arms all the way back, fingers back, and a little bit of extension and flexion, getting that front line. And put your opposite arm, mine is my left down now. Thumbs are pointed back towards me, feeling that separation of my shoulder blades and bringing my elbows up. And down, slow movement, just feeling the glide, feeling the shoulder blades gliding across the ribs. And coming off, hug my shoulder blades together, arms are straight, and then drop into the ball. Stretching my forearms. My arms must be straight. I'm going to create space in the front of my chest, dropping the weight, pushing the ball away, stretching through the wrist and the underside of my arm. And release. I'm going to come back. I'm going to grab my thumb on each side, get a little thumb release. And then fingers, just go through them one at a time. A couple pops, shake that out. Come through, oh, excuse me, let's get the other side. So palms up, shoulders back, arms straight, dropping it down. And if you move your, wiggle your fingers a little bit here, Feels really good. <laughs> More intense. And then rotate your thumb. And release. Let's come off of the ball. Just kind of bounce our feet up. And go through a little bit of a leg stretch here. Getting that left foot on the ball. Right foot's going to come up. I'm going to extend it back. I'm going to roll in and out in a runner's lunge. You can step that right foot out. 
Looking right, rotating the foot. Looking left, hopping over, getting that inner thigh. A little more rotation. Did a lot for the sides. So we're just going to hit these legs just to kind of touch on them. Always welcome to do more. Coming into the quad, giving it a push forward and backward, forward and backward. Coming back down, I'm going to catch the short adductor on the inner thigh. A little bit of rotation. And I'm going to drop that all the way over and come up a little deeper into that hip. Inhaling and exhaling, squeezing that glute, pushing the hip down and forward. Release. And I'm going to come to the other side of the ball, push the ball away, catching it with my right foot, coming up on the left, supported runner's lunge. Dropping my weight through the right hip. I'm walking my left foot out a little bit. Get a little extra rotation stretch in that left side. I can look left and rotate the ankle. Right. Dropping it down, getting the, um, the longer adductors into the hamstring. Coming down, a nice hip pop, pop it on my knee, bring it up into the quad, stretching front to back, movement, whatever feels good to you, stay pain free, just movement, and I'm going to bring it down into that shorter inner thigh, stretch. And when you're ready, pop back up and get into that deeper hip flexor stretch. Flex my glute, boom, down forward. And release. Let's just sit on our ball for a minute. Bring your chest down towards your thighs. Let your body hang, your head hang, chin to chest. <sighs> Slowly walking our feet out. Maybe draw a couple rolls on the ball. And when you're ready, just come to a comfortable position. I'm going to put my ball lengthwise towards the base of my back. I'm just going to lay back, supported. My head and neck are supported. I'm going to bring my hands out to the side. I'm going to do a couple of rolls side to side. And then find a comfortable resting position. Just do a scan of my body, my toes, my feet, the arches, my heels, my calves. Coming up the lower legs and my knees. And nice and relaxed. Feeling my thighs, the fronts and the back. My upper legs are relaxed. Maybe my feet are falling apart. Falling to the side, I should not fall apart. Feeling my hips and my pelvic region. Nice and relaxed, no tension in my hips. My belly rises with ease, up and down. Being present in the moment right now with your body. Inhaling and exhaling, making sure you're not guarding anywhere, holding no tension. 
really supported by my ball. My abdominals and back are relaxed. My shoulders are open. My heart is open. Bring down my arm, my upper arm, my elbow, my lower arm, my wrist, my fingers. They don't hurt, there's no tension. Think of that spot, maybe that spot in your elbow or your thumb. Maybe it's been aching, take an inhale. On the exhale, just blow it away. Your neck is relaxed. And your head, how about your jaw? Just let your mouth hang open. Your tongue is not thrusting. Your eyelids are just heavy. You're not frowning, you're not scowling. A little smile, half smile on your face. And remember this feeling of being you know, free free of aches and pains and tension. And carry it with you throughout the day. Don't let anyone steal this feeling, including yourself. Let's put our hands to our heart. And just repeat to yourself out loud. My heart is full of love and understanding. 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 Be kind and compassionate to yourself first. It will help you be kind and compassionate to others. So remember the words of fellow I am, follow you, choose them wisely. I am a mother, I am a Wonderful mother. I am kind, I am resourceful. I am strong, I am healthy. I am accountable. I am loving. I'm happy you are all here. Let's take a deep breath in. Open your mouth, let it out. And again, deep breath in. Open your mouth and let it out. And start rolling side to side. Bring your arms up overhead. Maybe reaching left and right. Left and right. Coming back to life. And when you're ready, bring your knees up and to the side. Making your way off your ball. Hands to heart center. Thanks for letting me guide you today and wishing you all a very wonderful day. Namaste.